Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Profound Cloud. This is Michael from Profound Cloud. Today, I'm going to show you how to pull real time data from the web into your Google spreadsheets using the import HTML function. This is something that can save you a lot of time if you have spreadsheets that require you to consistently update data with values that can otherwise be easily found somewhere on the web. So let me give you an example. Let's say you work in finance and you have a series of spreadsheets that rely upon current interest rates to do their calculation. Now, what might usually happen is that every day you might have to go to the Federal Reserve website, find out what the current interest rates are, and make sure you keep them current in your spreadsheet. Now, instead of doing that, we can use the import HTML function to automatically import these every time the spreadsheet's open. So the first thing I'm going to need to take note of is the URL or the web address of the page that has the table that I'm looking for. So I'm looking for this table right here, this table of interest rates. So I'm going to copy that URL to my clipboard because I'm going to need it in a second. I'll go back to my spreadsheet and I'm going to compose my import HTML function. And you'll see the three, the three parameters there. The first one being the URL of the page that you want to import the data from. The next parameter is called the query parameter. And in this case, what I'm going to do is put the word table in quotes. I'm telling Google I'm going to want you to import a table from this page. You can also import lists, uh, which is the same concept, but it uses the word list instead. And now Google knows I want to import a table from the page, but it doesn't know which table. So the third argument is going to be the number of the table on the page as it appears in order. So I know that this is the third table on the page, and I'll explain how I know that in a moment. I close the parentheses, and voila. So now I have the same interest rate table and the data that I saw here on the Federal Reserve's website in my spreadsheet. And from here, I could do all sorts of things. Again, I can use these numbers in other uh, sheets within the workbook, uh, and I can even import this into whole other uh, spreadsheet documents that are, exist elsewhere in Google Drive. So this is really useful. Just to show you one example, here's a chart sheet I made um, that is based on uh, the previous sheet. So just an example of how live data can be pulled from the web and then used in different ways within your spreadsheet. Now I want to go back to this idea of it being the third table on the page. So you may have noticed if you look at this page, the first table you see is really this one. So you would think that this is the first table. However, what happens is that sometimes web designers actually use tables in their uh, structures as they design the page. So for example, this top navigation bar is actually a table, even though you might not see it that way. So the easiest way to get the uh, number of the table is to go into Tools and then View Source while you're on the page. Okay, and now you're looking at kind of the guts behind the page. And if you're a web designer or someone who's very familiar with websites, you'll know exactly what this means. If you're not, that's okay, because I'm going to show you what you can do. You can use the find function, and you're going to find uh, the word table with a less than sign in front of it. Okay, because what we're looking to do is find out how many times that word appears in the code. Okay, so here's the first time, and I can see it says header top links. That's not what I want. And I have navigation menu, that's what I was talking about before. That's also not what I want. But the third table I find says selected interest rates, and I can sort of see some numbers. So just from the context clues, I can tell that this is likely the table I want. And this is the, actually the third table as it appears in the website code. Okay, so that's how I knew it was the third table. That's the import HTML function. It's very useful if you need to quickly pull data from the web into your Google spreadsheets.